What? Uh, I thought a bro nigga said something. Uh, Talk a shit, but they still ain't saying ain't nothing. Saying we gon' trap this bitch out till the feds come. Run it up, run it up. All right, guys, what's up, man? This is my pick sheet today. I have 12 bags. I have 27 overflow. I'm also in a smaller van today. I, I'm actually sort of like a rover, but since I have a whole route, I'm not. Uh, once I finish this route, probably around about 11, they'll send me to go help somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Smaller van, only 12 bags. That's a light route, depending on where I'm at. Hopefully I'm not downtown. If I'm downtown, bro, I'm gonna be so pissed. But um, yeah, man, just stay with me. It's gonna be a day in life of Amazon delivery driver. Part two, man. All right, so we in the lot now. As you can see, I have 117 stops. That's not bad, it's not bad at all. Um, but yeah, man, let me tell you what they do in the mornings. So, in the mornings, they give you a pouch. And in the pouch, you're gonna have a scanner like this. You also got a scanner on the door. Uh, they give you a car for your gas. And they also give you a list of gas stations that, that car can go to. Sometimes you have a flashlight. I don't really never touch the flashlight or nothing like that. Uh, and they also give you the phone plus the charger, right? So that's gonna be in your morning bag and everything like that. But the reason why we're in line right now is we're waiting to get in the line. Once we get in the line, we're gonna load up. Uh, once we load up and everything like that, make sure everything's scanned in and you have all your bags. If you have any missing packages or whatever, it's not gonna let you swipe the finish. So then you have to go to uh, what we call the RTS woman or man or whatever. They're gonna take that package straight off. Like I don't even look for my packages in the mornings. If, I, if it's not, if I didn't scan it or I've already have it in here and it's lost in here, uh, I'll just go ahead and be like, hey, take this off, and I'll just find it later on in my route. Now, sometimes they can mess you up just because um, you might have to backtrack, but I usually finish my route really fast, so I'd be wanting to backtrack, so I don't have to, you know what I'm saying? I'll be trying to swindle. But um, yeah, I'm gonna get back with y'all. All right, man, I'm on like 47 deliveries left so i'm about to show y'all i'm about to go in these apartment complexes right here they're kind of nice let me show y'all like a little something little something let's see if i can find it oh there's one right there boom oh is it another one right down on the bottom of it boom knock those out got my hazards on that's what that noise is So what we got next, we got a uh, follow one. Let's see. Let me see my next delivery. And I got five of one. Let's see, I'm gonna turn up in. Yeah, five of one right there. See, that's one thing about delivering, bro. This, this app doesn't always tell you everything is that. You gotta really like, Look around your surroundings, how you pulling in. See, now I know I gotta back up. Okay, that's a car right there. So now I gotta, you know what I'm saying, back up to the road I was just on. And that can be kind of tricky when you're in a bigger van. Oh, luckily today I'm in a smaller van. And also you see how my units are spread out. So I'm at 501. And then the same package is hooked to it and it's a thousand. So that's probably building 10. And that's probably around the block. But like, I hate when they do stuff like that because that doesn't really help you out at all. So that's 201. So now I gotta double back. Or right back to 201. This is that like the way they group these these apartments can be um can be irritating and also very very um uh can be a headache like for real and then like I don't even know where to leave these at because you know what I'm saying I guess this is a building by itself. I don't go in nobody's house. I'm gonna leave right there. Okay. All right, 
so now we gotta find building 10. We are building 10 it is the yellow house at the end of the drive to the left. Deliveries can be left on the front porch. All right, cool. So they left a good description. A lot of places don't even leave descriptions, my boy. So let's see. It says the yellow house at the end of the drive to the left. So that's gotta be directly behind me. Yep, and it is. So now I gotta back up. I got me a little backup cam. Uh, still use these big mirrors though, my guy, cause I'm telling you, bro, people pop out of nowhere and blame it on you. It's the other house at the end of the drive to the left. Yup, there it is. She said leave it on the front porch. That's cool. Deliveries can be left on the porch at the front door. Awesome. And I already scanned that one in. Where that one at? Yeah, it's the green box. Peasy. Oh man, some other truck got me hitting everything. Yeah. Let's get up out of here. I don't even like this. But yeah, man. Today I got down, I had downtown, and it's the only reason I'm not done yet because I had 112 stops. But see, like with the 112 stops, and you got downtown, it's nothing but businesses and apartments, and back and forth, back and forth. Then you got nowhere to park, and it's just a headache, bro. I really, ra I rather just deliver for residential. If you just have houses, you're you're gonna be done with that 112 probably about three hours max. Well, I know I could do 112 in three hours. Um, I say three hour and 20 minutes, three hour and 30 minutes, somewhere in there, but I just be moving. A lot of houses be right next to each other and you can knock them out faster, your day go by smoother. But when you with these apartments, I've never done this route before. And when you with these apartments that you're, that you're um, unaware of the area and all this other stuff, it could be a headache for you, man. You gotta really be patient for real. So yeah, man, I'm about to pull all the way in their driveway. And deliver shit. I gotta back up. See shit like this I hate. Now I gotta turn around and shit. It's not even this. It's not even this location. You see what I'm saying? It's, a, it's right through the woods over there. So I'm gonna back up in that shit. And uh spin back around the block. <clears throat> yeah man. What I'll do is I'll just park right here in that little driveway, turn my little houses on and uh, deliver to the house over here so I don't be on the main road. You know what I'm saying? I hope I can just get it, get it out pretty fast and I'll be good. All right, let's see, where's 211 at? 211, 211, 211. It's a box. See, they got like a gate type of thing. I don't go on people gates and shit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set it to the side because I don't want nobody coming outside being mad at me for coming in they shit. So, you know what I'm saying? They tell us not to do that, but I mean, that's for your safety guy. And like, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of a good neighborhood and I'm just being real. <laughs> I just don't go on people yard for my safety. I don't know what's inside that gate. So for your safety, just watch stuff like that.
And then for the most part, go pretty smooth. How's it going? She made me at the door. Some type of school, though. I don't know what kind of school that is, but. Now I gotta get back in the road and um, take this little left. But yeah, that's how my day goes, man. I can, you can be on your phone, you can have. Uh, go ahead and buy you some AirPods. Uh, I talked about that in another video. Uh, probably, in a, I think, yeah, it was in um, my top tips video. So go check that one out. But uh, I got me some AirPods, man. You can listen to music, talk on your phone, uh, listen to podcasts. I mostly like listen to stuff to learn from and stuff like this, man. Because, you know, this is a hobby to me. This is not a career. A lot of guys that live for Amazon to make it a career is not for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm on a bigger and better things. I just do this for right now.